Hi, and welcome to Camille's Country Corner. I am Camille, and on today's episode, we are going to be making some cheeseburger macaroni. Uh, most people like Hamburger Helper. I, not so much, because it has all those preservatives in it. So I am creating my own version of this and with a little help from the internet as well. I will be loosely following a recipe and I will try to link that down below. Let me show you what you need for this recipe. All right, you're gonna need one pound of ground beef. If you wanna use ground turkey here, that's fine. I'm using some 80-20. We're gonna use a little bit of pasta. I'm using elbows here, use whatever you'd like. We've got some garlic powder, onion powder, some seasoning salt, sour cream. We have some Dijon mustard, some ketchup. I'm gonna be using some bouillon here because I don't have beef broth. And it calls for cheddar cheese. I have cheddar jack today. It's better if you have the brick, but we are going to use what we have. And this is a one pot meal, comes together rather quickly. So let me show you what you need to get started. All right, I've got my pan on a medium high. Just gonna go ahead and dump my hamburger in here, break it up a little bit. This meal comes together in like 30 minutes. It's a nice weeknight meal, makes it easy when you come home from work and you really don't feel like making a whole lot of anything. This is the perfect meal for that. All right, while this is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasonings to this. Just season it up a little bit. Directly on the floor with that, let's wash it. Ah, oh, we don't need that one anyway. Okay, so we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of our seasoning salt. We're gonna add one teaspoon of our onion powder. One teaspoon of our garlic powder. Probably way more than that, but that's okay. I'm gonna be adding some bouillon here, only because I'm going to be adding my water later and you need one teaspoon for every cup. And I'm gonna be doing three and a half cups of our water. So I'm gonna do three and a half teaspoons of our beef bouillon. And we're just gonna go ahead and cook that down just a bit. meal really does come together rather quickly. We want to add about a tablespoon of ketchup and about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I did drain off just a little bit of that grease that was in there. We don't need all of that. To my hamburger, I'm gonna add my three and a half cups of water because I've already added my bouillon here. Okay. To my water, I am going to add, well, to my skillet, I'm going to add one and a half cups of my elbows. All right, we're gonna bring that up to a boil and we're gonna let that boil for 15 minutes. So let's go ahead and cover that. 
and I'll bring you back when that is done. All right, now that the um, pasta is cooked, we're gonna go ahead and add a half a cup of sour cream. And we're going to add our two cups of shredded cheese. Like I said, it would be better to use the stuff in the brick, but I forgot to buy that today. So this has an anti-caking agent, but it will still melt down. super cheesy and I think I have water underneath there. All right, let's add a little bit of pepper. Oh, look at how cheesy that is. Let's go ahead and give this a try, shall we? Oh, it is so cheesy. I'm just gonna try a little sample here because this is what we're gonna have for dinner. And I'm gonna make a salad to go with this. Mmm. Oh, the tang from the mustard. You can taste the ketchup a little bit. This is better than the box. Oh, uh, this is definitely a comfort food. <laughs> this is so tasty, so cheesy. Now I use Cheddar Jack here, but I probably would have used like a medium and a sharp cheddar and just mix the two. Oh, this is delicious. I hope you give this a try. If you do, let me know your version of this. I ventured a little bit off of another recipe. Uh, I will try to link that below. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make my salad and sit down with this because this is nice and warm and cozy. All right, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Definitely hit that like button and we'll catch you on the next one for more homemade or from scratch videos or semi-homemade. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by here today. We'll catch you on the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.